Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The management of this magnificent theatre take great pleasure in presenting for your approval that stirring drama, Mariah Martin, or The Murder in the Red Barn. Thank you. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce our players. First, we have Farmer Martin and his wife, Dame Martin, whose grey hairs are well nigh brought in sorrow to the grave. Mariah's parents. Next, we have Carlos, the gypsy lover of Mariah, whose ragged shirt conceals a heart of gold. Next comes Mariah. Ah, poor Mariah, how little she dreams of the awful fate that awaits her. Oh, Mariah, why did you discard his honest love for the flattery of that scoundrel corner? Squire Cork, lord of the manor of Colchester, and a villain whose blood may be blue, whose heart is black as night. That's Don Slaughter himself. But what dark and sinister figure is this? Great heaven, the hang! and a host of other players have all been retained at enormous expense to thrill and delight you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we will transport you to the village of Falstead, where all is merrymaking in the Red Bar. <laughs> You're as light as a feather, Mariah, I swear you are. I must go back to them now. No, no, not yet. I must, I Oh, very must. well, then. I'll go with you. Great night, Martin. Indeed it is, Squire. Thanks to you for giving us the use of your place. Oh, it's too far away from everywhere. Too lonely. I must see about building you a proper hall in the village. You're too good to us as it is, Squire. You must dance the next reel with me, Mrs. Martin. Well, I couldn't. <laughs> come, come, I insist. Martin, put a word in for me. Uh, I'll go and talk to the rest of the folk. I'll come back. Presently. That's a noble idea. That's what's real music, Mr. Winnie. Aye, none of your modern claptrap. Yeah, well. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, Mr. Winnie. 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 Good evening, Squire's in fine fiddle tonight. Yes. Where are you going, Liz? Oh, yes. It's hot in here, Father. Yes, me too. Oh, yes. Mariah. Well? Why do you treat me like this? 
Like what? You know very well what I mean. Dancing with that gentleman, Corder. Well, why shouldn't I? After all, he was good enough for me to want to. I saw him whispering. Wouldn't you like to know what he said? Oh, I can guess well enough. How dare you talk to me like that? Because you're mine. You promised. I did nothing of the kind. Let go of me. I won't. Mariah, I love you. <laughs> but you're a gypsy. Thou wilt be a father like any other man. Or one day I shall be a farmer, same as him. Well, when you are. Mariah. And I see a handsome young man. Handsome? Then what? You'll have to cross my farm with a silver threepenny piece. Go on, Tim. Give her a coin. Oh, I knew this was gonna happen. Eight. Yes. Good. Good. Again. Ah, a fortune teller, eh? Can you tell me mine? First cross my palm with silver. Silver, eh? Well, thanks, Tim. That's handy of you. Don't let me forget. Ah, oh, warm square. Well, what do you see? Do you really want to know? Of course, woman. Of course. Then run away, you two. <laughs> Now. I see death. That needs no gift to foretell. But what of the future? Don't ask me more. Tell me what you see, or I'll have that coin back. I see a figure on the end of a rope corder. Your figure. Why, you old fraud, you are. And have you whipped her? Be off with you. Out you go! Out you go! Throw this old hag out! Leave her alone! What? Carlos! One of your men, Martin? Leave it to me, Squire. How dare you speak to Squire like this? It's no more than he deserves. Take yourself off! The whole lot of you! Yes, and keep out of Polstead, unless you want me to put the dogs on you. All right, we'll go and gladly. But remember, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, and blood for blood. What you? Why don't you go when Squire bids you? You'll see me again. You shan't escape what I foretold, Corda. The fates never lie. Uh, I'm sorry, Squire. He's made this up to Oh, he's like the rest of his kind. Once a gypsy, <laughs> always a gypsy. For goodness sake, strike up, Mr. Whitney. Give him another dance. Ah, there go the fiddles. Come on, young woman. We'll show the old and how to kick up our heels. <laughs> already. I've been late for choir practice. Oh, my dear, don't say that. You know how Mr. Woody goes on. Yes, 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 I must hurry. Yes. Yes, hurry. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Bless you. takes a winter bottom to make a noise like that. But why aren't you at choir practice? It'd be put off tonight. Old Winnie, he'd be sitting up with a sick pig. And say he hasn't time to attend to us others. Give us a kiss. Oh, not before you buy me a ring. Oi, I'll buy you a ring, all right. Jiminy, I can't. Oh, why not? Squire owes me threepence.
Moran! What are you doing here? I saw the light in your window. So you thought you paid for a lonely corner of visit, eh? Yes. You asked me to, you know. Of course I did. More than once. Well, uh, I've come. That was very Christian of you. No one knows, do they? Oh, no. Come in, then. Come and sit down, my dear. I'm supposed to be a choir practice. Minx. Instead, you prefer to see me, eh? That was very pleasant and sociable of you. Oh, just one moment. Locking the door. Servants, my pretty. It wouldn't look well if they found you here, would it? Oh. Come here, Mariah. Come, be brave. Drink it down. You know, it was very brave of you to come here. Oh, I get so sick of this dull place. Always the same. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. Yes, you're wasted here. How would you like to see the world? London. London? Yes, a lass like you would go far in London. But how would a poor girl like me get to London? I might help you. But what should I do there, all alone? I might go with you. You? <laughs> oh, Squire. Come, drink it up. Why, you're cold. It'll go to my head. London will go to your head. The lights, Covent Garden, the mail on Sundays. Oh, so different to this. I wouldn't know what to do among all those fine people. Fine feathers make fine birds, Mariah. And if I dressed you as elegantly as they, you'd be the finest of them all. Sit down. But why should you do this for me, a village girl? You're a very beautiful woman, Mariah. And I'm a very lonely man. You lonely? <laughs> why, you must have all the ladies in London at your feet. I don't want all the ladies in London. There's a certain village maiden that I'd give them all for. Oh, Mr. Corder. Come, we'll drink a toast together to the pretty little woman who's won my heart. Men. Yes, ma'am? You better warm a bowl of soup. Miss Moran will be home from choir practice soon. But there ain't no choir. Oh, hello, mother. <laughs> Where's Mariah? At choir practice. Choir practice? But there isn't any. No choir practice. No, when you put it off. Did she say she was going? Yes. How long has she been gone? Since eight o'clock. Then what you been up to all this time? Oh, you know, Mother, I don't like the way she's been acting since the night of the barn dance. You don't think she's still... Meeting with that gypsy fellow? That's just what I do oh, think. Oh, dear, oh, dear. She's too flighty, that girl. She needs the curb. Life will put the curb on her soon enough, Thomas. Let her laugh while she can. There, there, there. That's nothing to cry about. It's not much of a compliment to me, is it? It's not the same for you. There's nothing to be afraid of. You do love me. Yes, yes. And you meant what you said. Eh? About being wed. Oh, yes, of course, of course. Oh. Am I to tell my father? No, no. I'll tell your father. When? Mm. Tomorrow. We must bide our time. For why? There's so many things to be considered. You must leave it to me to do what's best. Won't they be wondering where you are? I'm afraid. Nonsense. You mustn't let your parents see that you've been crying. They want to know the reason. I don't face my father after this. Rubbish. He won't know. Nobody saw you come in. No one will see you go out. Come. No, no. Don't send me away yet. My dear, the time. Your parents will be getting anxious at home. You must make some excuse. I've never lied to them before. Well, well, the world hasn't come to an end. No. No, 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 no. This way. Come, take yourself in hand. You'll ruin us both. How you... Think of the wagging tongues. Yes. Yes, I know. Goodbye. Good girl. 
Aren't you going to give me a kiss? No, I... I don't want to. Goodbye. I'll check the wits of that girl when she does get back. Tonight I was going to ask him if I could wed him. Oh, don't put it off, Tim. Oh, I don't think I'll ask him tonight. Hurrah. What do you want? I must speak to you. I, I can't stop now, O'Connor. Don't go. I haven't seen you for over a week. But I, I can't stop and talk now, really, Carlos. Then I want to talk to you. No, Carlos. Not now. You better go now, Carlos. My father may see you. What if he does? I love you, Mariah. I'm afraid, Carlos. Ah. By heaven, she is with a gypsy. Oh! So this is how you attend your choir practice, my lady? You lied to us. You've been with this man all the evening. But I've only just... What if she has? Aren't I as good as any other man? I've a mind to leave me with about you. Her too. You'd best not. Why, you filthy gypsy, I'll... Oh. Well, gypsy, why don't you draw your knife? All right. I understand. Goodbye. I'll get you home. I'll attend to you after I see Squire Corder. Corder? I'll put up with this no longer. He's a magistrate. He shall deal with these riffraff. Oh, Father. Get you home. Off with you. Did you see him, Tim? Yes. Do you suppose he was asking the master, too? Maybe. I don't think I'd ask him tonight, Tim. Oh, I don't think I'll ask him at all. on you so they wouldn't let you forget you were a gypsy why don't you put that girl out of your heart she'll bring you nothing but trouble trouble and despair oh leave me alone bills bills do they think i'm made of money i tell you i must see the squire who is it Farmer Martin, sir. Says he must see you, sir. I don't want to see him, I... Show him in. This way, sir. Well, Martin, what brings you here at this time of night? A painful matter enough, sir. Well? Well? It's about Mariah. Mariah? Really, Martin, I, I don't understand. She's making a fool of herself. I don't see how this concerns me. With that gypsy, Carlos. Mariah with a gypsy? Ah, uh, she deceived us about going to a choir practice, and she spent the evening with him. The whole evening? How can it be possible? I knew you'd be pain, Squire. I can't think how she could have done it. A trifle high spirit today, Martin. Difficult to keep to heel. I've noticed it. Yes, sir. 
I've been meaning to have a word with you on the matter for some time. Just uh, a hint. Good of you to take so much interest, sir. Huh? Of course, there may be nothing in it, but all the same. God help the man who trifles with my lass. I kill him like a rat. Very proper, my dear Martin. Very proper. But what do you want me to do? You're a magistrate, squire. We look to you for help. A word from you to the constable, he'd run these gypsies out of posted lock, stock and barrel. I'm afraid that's more than I have the power to do. But I'll see to this Carlos fellow. Thank you, squire. Our village lasses want all the protection we can give them. I'll see that my lass gets it, too. If I catch that gypsy lout and Mariah again... Exactly. In that case, you can rely upon my discretion absolutely. Thank you, squire. Don't mention it. Good night. Good night, Martin. You rang, sir? Yes. Tell the groom to have the chaise ready first thing in the morning. I'm leaving for London. Yes, sir. And pack all my things. I shall be away some time. Yes, sir. That's another 50 you owe me, Commodore. Against her, that's hard luck. Well, I'll leave another 100 guineas. Hmm. I'll take it. That's ah, sportsman, that's sportsman. Make it two. With pleasure. Good. Six. Not too good. For seven. <laughs> very, very lucky. That's 3,000 you will be caught. Well, I'll leave another rule of the dice. Double or quits. Well? The luck's with me tonight. I'll take your wager. Cordy, you're mad. If you lose, you're ruined. Oh, I'd play him if the devil himself were perched on his shoulder. Throw, sir. Oh, good throw, good throw. Oh. Gorda, that is 6,000 you are with. Too bad, too bad. Not all the John. Oh, Gorda. Yes? I'm not in a hurry for the money. Shall we say a month? It's all one to me. Very well. Good night to you. Good night to you. Good night, Sir Robert. Good night. Good night, gentlemen. Good, Good night, night to you. Where the devil can you raise 6,000 pounds in a month? From that Senate woman. She has 30,000 pounds of her own in the fund. What, you marry into that psalm singing family? <laughs> Impossible. I'll wager you a hundred guineas. She's mine within the month. And I can sing a psalm with the best of them. Oh, I get out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no. For these and all other mercies, may we be truly thankful, amen. <coughs> What's the matter, girl? I... I feel rather tired, Father. I think I'll go to bed. What's the matter with her? She's fretting. What about? The gypsy. A uh, wild girl, some ginger wine. You were in very fine voice this evening, my dear Miss Sennett. Oh, Mr. Corder. Oh, come, come. There's nothing to be ashamed of, eh, sir? Uh, so long as the voice is lifted in thanksgiving, Mr. Corder, it matters not about the quality. Quite, sir, quite. It's the spirit that counts. Ah, Miss Maud, pictures of the world a hundred years ago, eh? What fright they must have looked in those old-fashioned frocks. Yes. Have you been long up from the country, Mr. Corder? About a month. A month? 
And you've only just now come to see us. Oh, for shame, Mr. Corder. Believe me, Miss Maud, you've been in my thoughts every moment of the time. <laughs> oh, Mr. Corder. Jiminy, I'll never get me trip any peace now. Why not? And him with a what to keep? Don't be a fool, Timothy Winterbottom. Ask Squire as soon as he comes back today. What, me go up there? I'll be sure. He'll be in good spirit. Not I. You will. Not I. You will this very minute. And don't you dare come back without it. Not I. Who? Me? Yes, you. Oh, hurry, hurry, that's just coming. May as well give him some comfort before his wedding. If I know anything, he oh. won't get much after. Stop grumbling and get out of here. Well, Jabe is cheerful as usual, eh? Glad to see him back, sir. Yes, you look it. Annie, you're looking younger than ever, I swear. We've heard the good news, sir. Yes, you're going to have a mistress soon to stir you about. May I wish you every happiness, sir. Thank you, Annie. Better polish up your psalms. We're going to have some musical evenings. Ah! It's been a dirty journey from London. Any special orders, sir? Orders, dozens of them. The whole place has been polished from the top to the bottom. Tell the maids to bustle about a bit. Yes, sir. Begging your pardon, sir. Winterbottom says he must see you, sir. Winter, winter. Bottom, sir. Oh, Winterbottom, show him in. Come in, Tim. Come in, my lad. Come in. Come in, my lad. Well, Tim, what's to do? I, I'd, I'd like to see you, Squire. Damn it, man, you're looking at me. Yes, I know, Squire, but I've seen you before. What are you gabbing about? A threepenny piece, sir. Threepenny piece? Of course I remember. I tell you what, Tim. I toss you double or quits. You want me to gamble with you, Squire? That's it. Oh, that do sound <laughs> grand. You got a coin on you? Oh, I have that. No, an old shilly. Well, you give it to me. Now, what should it be? Heads or tails, eh? Do you mind if I have heads, sir? Heads it is. By gad, Tim, you've won. That sixpence I owe you. This here gambling be better than working. <laughs> now you've got to give me sixpence. Eh? Yes, I owe you sixpence. Here's a shilling. You've got to give me sixpence change. Oh, to be sure. <laughs> Isn't it amazing what book line will do for you? I suppose that do be right. Satisfied, aren't you? Oh, that'd be grand. Well, you go home and work it out carefully. If anything's wrong, come back and we'll gamble again, eh? Thank you, sir. Thank you. By gum, it's better than working. <laughs> You. Uh, nothing, mother. You've been crying. No, mother. No. Hmm. You've not been laughing. Swollen eyes don't come from happiness. <laughs> mother, leave me be. Oh. Mara, child. That's not like you'd speak so. Here. Sit by me like you used to when you were a little one to tell me your troubles. And say your prayer. Now, child, what is it? <laughs> Nothing, Mother. My dear, ever since you saw the light of day, I've watched over you and cared for you. Won't you tell me? I can't, Mother. Oh, I wish I was dead. You don't mean... Does the man know? <laughs> he wouldn't care now if he did. Mm. Heaven have mercy on him. And on us when your father finds out. Father! Oh, Mother, he must never hear of this. Too late. He has heard. Come you here. Thomas, let me speak. Be silent, wife. I'm speaking to her. You wanton. For shame. The shame is hers. Your own child. She's no longer a child of mine. Leave the house. You can't turn her out of doors when she needs us most. Aye, that I can. Oh, Father, you can't. I've lived here all my life. The father before me, God-fearing men, honored, respected, till you disgraced us. I disown you. Go. And never come back. You mean it? Go to the man who betrayed you. <laughs> 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 
back, wife. Never speak of her again. Nan. Oh, did you get it? I didn't know. And more. Did I gambled with him. Don't be a winter bottom. You ain't never gambled in your life. Haven't I? There's lots you don't know about me, me gal. I'm a wild and I am. Well, what's happened? Well, I goes to Squire and I says, I've come about me tripping piece. Very bold I was, too. No. <laughs> well, Sir Squire, I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me, Jim. I'm hard up. No. Well, I said, Squire, I don't want to be too hard on you. I tell you what, I, I gamble with. Double the quiz. No. I did, and I won. Just like this. Showed him a trick or two, I did. That's funny. What's funny? I had a six minute piece. Jimmy, I, I gave to Squire. You gave him sixpence? Aye, but he gave me shilling. Oh, then that's all right. Aye, but it were my shilling. Dang me if I ain't been done. That man owed me noisem. You're mad to come here before dark. I must. I've nowhere else to go. Tell me what's happened. My father. He knows. About me? You told him? No. Hmm. What do you expect me to do? Is there any need for me to tell you? I'm sure no one was in the grounds when you came in. One never knows who's watching. You said you'd help me if I needed help. I need it now. But I, I meant what I said at the time, I swear it. Is that why your bands are on the church door? Things have changed with me. I'm faced with ruin. Prison. And what good would I be to you without a penny? I'd be respectable. This marriage is the only way out for me. And what of me? Why did you let your father find out? Some things can't be hidden forever. Does he know who the man is? I don't know. Wait. Let me think. I may be able to help. Wasn't that a young gypsy fellow whom you rather favoured? And what of him? And didn't he make a fool of himself over you? He loved me. And with a hundred guineas, he might love you again, eh? What do you mean? The day you and he wed, I'll give you a dowry of a hundred guineas. I'm gad. I'll give him a wedding present of twenty guineas into the bargain. You'd have me marry Carlos. No. It would be an easy solution to both our problems. And if afterwards you still pine for my society, well, very St. Edmunds is not a continent away. A rendezvous might be arranged, eh? Oh, I hate you. Where are you going? To my father. I'll tell the truth. You shan't marry that woman. You shan't kick me into the gutter. Or when he knows, squire or no squire, gentleman or no gentleman, he'll kill you. Mariah, stop. Now I'm satisfied. Now I know the strength of your love. So many women have sworn to love me, but when it came to risking all for love, not they. And so I had come to distrust all women. But you are different. You would risk everything but for love. No, don't speak. Words are so poor. Deeds. We must never be parted. You mean you... This very night, my wife. Listen, you must leave me now. I have much to prepare. Meet me in two hours' time at Ponder's Oak. Let no one see you, speak to no one. I'll have the chaise waiting, and then away together. Your wife? My bride, I swear. Nan, Nan. Oh. You mustn't come here in broad daylight, Carlos. There'd be great trouble, and... What do you mean? Master, he'd be like a madman. Over what? I don't know, but things you'll be mixed up in it. Where's Mariah? She's gone. Gone? Where? He's turned her out. What do you say? She's been gone for hours, and I've heard the master say that he'd kill you. Listen, Nan, I'm going to find her. If she comes back, tell her that I've returned, and I must see her. You promise? Yes, I promise, but don't let anyone see you. It's not safe. Oh, I can take care of myself. It's her. Her. searched everywhere for you. Carlos, you mustn't stay here. I won't leave you till you've answered my question. What do you mean? Mirara, I love you. 
I want you to marry me. Oh, no, I, I can't. Why not? Is it Corder? No, it, it's not him. It's not. Is it? Someone else? Yes. Mariah. I can't see into your heart, but I know you're unhappy. For the last time I ask you, will you come with me? We'll start life anew. No, it's, we... it's too late. You mean that? I mean it. Is that your last word? Yes. Oh, go at once and forget me. Very well, I'll go. But this time it's for good. Oh, go, go. But you're with me. Don't you trust me, Mariah? Yes. Yes, I must. My life is yours. Yes. That's what I mean. Come. others out and you in my beauty we can't stay here this place can't we go on go where why london you'll never see london mariah you think i'm going to sacrifice myself for a common village wench like you Order. didn't i make you a promise mariah i promised to make you a bride don't be afraid mariah you shall be a bride, a bride of death. <laughs> <gasps>
Kind of. That scoundrel? Yes, yes. To anyone. Anyone. Tell her to come home. Bring her home. Very well, Mother. I'll find her. I must find her, Squire. Or my wife will die. This is dreadful news, Martin. You should have come to me at once. It was a shame of the thing that held me back. Yes, but as your magistrate, who more proper? You think she's gone with this gypsy Carlos? With whom else? You've been to the camp? Aye, they swear that Carlos had not been seen since the night she left. He must have taken her. You're right, Martin. You're right. And if a crime has been committed, it must not go unpunished. We owe it to society to fix the guilt on someone. How else should innocent men sleep soundly in their beds? I'll send to London for the Bow Street Runners. I'll fix a price upon his head. I'll offer a reward. Why should she be? It said you bewitched her. Why, that's true. true. Aye. <laughs> There's a hundred guineas for anyone taking you. They're hunting for you, have been, ever since she disappeared. Disappeared? When did she disappear? The same night as you did, the night of the storm. The storm? Why, that was when she was waiting at... Corder! Oh, I don't need go away. Out of my way, you fool. Oi, stop, stop, I've arrested him. Yeah, I've arrested him. I want my reward. You'll get your reward in heaven, my lad. Terms of a marriage settlement as arranged between William Corder Esquire, Lord of the Manor of Polstead, and Matthew Sinnott Esquire of the parish of St. Medlebert. Yes, yes, but let's get down to the meat of the thing. Oh, certainly, Esquire, certainly. Whereas the said William Corder does agree to take Maud Sinnott in marriage and to bestow upon her his name and titles and to cherish her lovingly, the aforesaid Matthew Sinnott, father of the bride, does bestow upon the said William Corder the sum of 6,000 guineas as a dower, together with all her goods and chattels, as may be possessed by Maud, his daughter. Yes, let's forget the sordid details. We have guests waiting, and the fiddles are tuning up. <laughs> Come, gentlemen, I'll give you a toast. Oh, here's uh, a toast to, to my friend. lovely bride. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Hammett, Squire Cordola. May you both be very happy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <sighs> but come, the fiddles are waiting. <laughs> what is it? What is it? My hat and coat. Oh, yes. <laughs> Guineas. You! Sit down. Gordy, if you move or cry out, I'll kill you. What's the meaning of this outrage? Do you think you can break into my house and threaten me like this? 
There's a price upon your head, my friend. I've only to ring that bell. But you won't. Till you've heard me. Go on. But take care. Where's Mariah? Who the devil's Mariah? Cut on your memory. Mariah Martin. What have you done with her? What have I done with her? You'll have to answer that question. And before a judge. Corder, you tell me. Before you leave this room. Alive. Put your hand on the table. Now. The truth. Wait, my friend. Let's keep our tempers. This house is full of your friends. Your runners are close at hand. The chains are ready. The gallows may be for me. Quick. What have you done with Mariah? Why come to me to tell you? You stole her, but you're going to give her back. You jealous fool. I know nothing of the girl. I care nothing. I look higher. Do you think I'd soil my hands with a common village slut? Make secret meetings with a dirty gypsy at Ponder's Oak in the dark. How do you know that? I saw you both there. Where? At Ponder's Oak, I tell you. What were you doing there? Tell me that. I went to help her. Out of kindness. Why? I can't help it. I, I'm like that. Go on. Her father had turned her out. We can guess why, poor child. How do you know that? She came to you. No, wrote me. Where's the letter? I destroyed it. I sent her a message telling her to meet me unseen. I took the money to help to make her on the way to London. Saw her there with her lover. With you, Carlos. That night she vanished. Do you think you can afford to threaten now? Who's that? A friend. Let him in. Get rid of him quickly. Don't move from your chair. One word of fine I. I don't miss. Are you there, Father? Come in. Ah, there you are. We were wondering what had become of you. I had some business in hand. Business on a night like this? By the way, John. Might as well discharge my debt while I'm about it. Already? Well, I won't say no. I'll make you out a draft on my bankers. Six thousand, I believe. This is very handsome of you, William. You'd better read it. Thanks, my boy. Do you mind if I put this through quickly? The quicker the better. Hmm. Well, let's get back and join the fun. I'll be along shortly. All right, I'm for the ladies. Now, the rest of your tale. Come on, quick. I'll answer no more of your insolent questions. Because you don't. Because your neck is in my hands, my friend. You fool, you're in a trap. Say what you will, you stand condemned. What do you mean? Is it not clear as day for the whole world to see? Mariah casts you off. Discovered by her father, she flies. Not to you, but to her latest lover. She is surprised by you in his arms. You bide your time. Lure her to some lonely spot. And there, at your hands, she meets her death. You lie. You lie in every word you lie, except one. And that? How come you to know Mariah Martin is dead? It's a trap. Call her. Kill you. You're going to have to be quick, then. Round the door. There he goes. Ah, you know, there he is. Is. Come on. Come on. Come on. See, there he is. Get it away. Come, let's go back through the front door. Look out! Drop his knife! I'm pounding me, but too quick for it! Get his hat and put the dog on his train. Reload the pistols. Bring me my boots. Right, sir. Hurry up, James. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, the Bow Street runner. Just in time to be in at the death. We thank the gypsy here, Your Honor. Here, you did. I did. All right, Steele. We'll be ready in a moment. Oh, I don't know. Fifty pounds, I wing him first, Father. That's a running shot, mine. I'll take him on the rise. Ah, the pistols. You join us, Mr. Senate. Shoot on sight with great pleasure. The dog, good. Here, test him, Garish. Gad, he wins him. Oh, 
Never mind that. Burn the place down and dim with it. Certainly not. Certainly not. We've got 50 minutes on. Let's make the door down and... Open the door. Break it down. All right, come on. About. A hundred pounds reward. Why, and that's beside us. Nine from you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Steel. Harder. Oh, I took harder. Then he be going to you. Another one. Hey, here he is. 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 Where? Are you Carlos, the gypsy? I am. Then I arrest you for the abduction of Mariah Martin. Then arrest Corder, too. What do you mean? Pay no attention to me. You were with Mariah the night she disappeared. What's that he says? What do you say, gypsy? He's lying. He's only trying to save himself. It's you who lie. Must we listen to all this? Are you satisfied, Martin? Quite. He's a liar. Steel, take him away. Come on. I've no wish to run. I want to see why he's digging. Come on, get up. Tiger! Tiger! Cora! Your dog has found something. Well, what of that? Are we just stand about like loons while the dog digs for a rat? Tiger! Leave him, boy! Leave! Supposing it were not a rat. Supposing it was something else. See for yourself. The earth has been disturbed. By heavens, he's right. Probably a, a mole or something. Come, let's be going. Wait a moment. And we better dig, are we sure? Dig? For what? Mariah Martin. Mariah, you don't mean? That's exactly what I do mean. Are you afraid to dig? Afraid? Aye. <laughs> Must we stay and listen to this fool? Squire Corder, is there aught of truth in what he hints? Of course not, Martin. Then let us dig. Very well, then. We will dig, and I'll be the first. Give me a spade, someone. Now we'll see who's the fool. Home, Tiger. Yo, home. Guilty? Do you think I'd offer to do this? Must be wrong with this farce. Now are you satisfied? No. What you? Hey, you. be insulted like this. Mr. Sennett, why don't you speak? I, uh, I don't like the look of this corner. But you, you doubt me? Me? You can easily set our doubts at rest, Squire. Dig on. Yes, Squire Corder. Dig deeper. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, 
comfort me. Your pistol, Corder. Ah, it's not mine. It is. And here's the meat to it. Give it to me. Where did you get this? Squire Corder handed that pistol to me himself. You're right. Your name is on the handles. Well, sir. I know nothing about this, I tell you. Nothing. You lie, Corder. I can see it in your face. Dig on. Now. I say dig. My girl. I didn't do it, I tell you, I swear I didn't do it. William Corder, I arrest you for the murder of Mariah Martin. Let go! Let me go! I'll drop the first man who tries to stop me. <laughs> Not so brave, eh? There's only one charge in that pistol, Corder. At best you can but kill one of us, then you'll be taken. Yes, but which will be the one? You, Martin, eh? Would you like to go and join your beautiful Mariah? Oh, don't stare at me like that, Mariah. You've trapped me. Your hands are reaching out from the grave, dragging me down, down. Oh, but you're too late. You're too late. He's mad. Close your eyes, Mariah. Close them. They haunt me. Oh, I, I didn't want to kill you. You forced me to. You forced me to. You forced me to. She made me do it, I tell you. She made me do it. She made me do it. She made me do it. <laughs> Yet? All right, cocky, all right. I know it ain't time. And why have you come here? I've got some news for you. You mean that they're not going to hang me? Is that what you've come to say? Well, not exactly. I don't think you'll swing today. The executioner has been took ill, and his deputy's up north giving the <coughs> to another fellow. And unless they can find a volunteer to take his place, we'll have to ask you to wait, if you don't mind. They'll never find anybody for a job like that. It's far too ghastly. Oh, I don't know. It's nice work if you can get it. <laughs> Cheer up, cocky. 
don't worry. If they don't find anyone else. Back me, I don't mind turning you off myself. <laughs> Prisoner, prepare. No, no, you can't hang me. The hour has come and the executioner is not here. We have a volunteer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stop the hanging. Yeah. You can't hang that man. Why not? Because he owes me ninepence. Would you like to look upon your executioner? Yes. You! I warned you, Corder. An eye for an eye, 